The Caribbean community has created history, selecting for the first time a woman to serve as Secretary General. More from Toussaint King English Francis. Dr. Carla Barnett, a national of Belize, has been elected to serve as the new Secretary General of the Caribbean community from the 15th of August. Her assumption to office will coincide with the end of tenure of Ambassador Erwin LaRocque, who is completing his second tenure in office. Dr. Barnett was elected on May 11th during a special meeting of the Conference of Heads of Government of CARICOM, chaired by Dr. the Honorable Keith Rowley, Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago. Dr. Barnett is the first woman and the first Belizean to be selected for the post. And St. Lucia's Prime Minister, the Honorable Alan Chastney, was among the region's leaders who decided on Dr. Carla Barnett's appointment. Honorable Chastney says he is looking forward to some critical changes at the Secretariat with Dr. Barnett at the helm. The Secretariat that we have now, even its name needs to be reviewed. Certainly the structure of the CARICOM Secretariat um, has to be restructured. So when I looked at the job description just of the Secretary General, it's very vague. And I think that we have to become a little bit more specific and hold leadership at the Secretary a little bit more accountable um, to what our objectives are. Certainly coming out of COVID, it's very clear that um, deeper regional integration is necessary. We're spending way too much money on um, services that we can't afford. So Solution with a population of 180,000, um, if we were to share in terms of security, let's just use security as an example. Uh, I think we should have a regional security force that is more uh, present in our day-to-day -day lives um, than currently what we have, which is only on cases of emergency. We can deploy people to go to react to a situation rather than having now a central database of everybody's um, uh, fingerprinting, whether we have the access to DNA, um, because it's not to say that criminals are just staying in one place or the other. And we, we also have to have a greater focus on white collar crime as well. Honorable Chastney says integration after COVID-19 will be paramount to the development of the region. Why do we have to have an OECS Civil Aviation Authority, Barbados Civil Aviation Authority, Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority, Trinidad Civil Aviation Authority, when one is suffice? And even for the airlines doing business in CARICOM, it makes much sense if there is a common platform um, that they're operating on. It just makes it much easier. Um, but COVID has really, I think, made it absolutely necessary that we have a, a deeper dive into, into integration. And the CARICOM Secretariat has to play a lead role in that. It can't just be about foreign affairs. I think foreign affairs is important, but I don't think it's the only thing. And certainly for us at OECS, um, we're now meeting on a more regular basis. We're now getting the central bank to be more integrated in terms of policy um, and also in harmonization. So we hear many times that we go to the parliament and pass bills that have already been approved by the other OECS countries in the sake of harmonization. Um, and I think this is the same thing that needs to take place at the CARICOM. And I'm really hoping that Dr. Barnett, being a person who has worked there before, has left and is now coming back, um, that, uh, that we're going to start seeing these kind of changes taking place.